Hello, let's have a look today at uh, refinement regions. Why, why do, they ha do we have refinement regions? Because uh, sometimes in hectares I have this mesh, for example, that is a squares of 5 meters. Maybe I want areas here in this area if I want to make a bridge of 2 meters, for example. Then, to uh, define different mesh sizes, we use refinement regions. And the way we do it, I have the, here this geometry, I will right click on it, edit geometry, click on refinement regions, and I start drawing. For example, this area. So we'll do it quickly for the purpose of this tutorial, double click to finish and OK. We we'll right click on it, edit refinement regions properties, and we we'll, in this case will decide cell size of 2 times 2, and we we'll click OK. Right click, enforce all regions. We can zoom on it and it's and it's done. Uh, when you edit your geometry, I recommend to right click in the 2D flow areas and force recompute for all meshes. Sometimes it complains about it. When it is done, we right click on it and stop. Something we can also do is I had uh, in our map uh, this uh, refinement region uh, uh, shape file. Uh, that I have in a folder and for each square I wanted a different mesh size that I defined in a column in the attribute table. So we can also import that to Hegras. How we do it, we will go to our geometry in edit mode and we will right click in refinement regions and we will to import features from shapefile. We will look for it in our uh, um, shapefile, have it here. Then I table down here and I can choose the column where I had my data. So if I check it now in the edit regions property, I can see that it have caught if I caught up my numbers. So yeah, this is a, another solution for it and I wish you a lot of luck and uh, yeah, bye bye. <laughs>